Good morning. It's nice and sunny today, and it is our first year anniversary. Yay! Woo! She didn't kill me. Hey, I survived the year. Outfit of the day. And she had a hair clip in. But she keeps taking it off. Sophia's got toys for days out. But no, she wants to play with an empty CD case. <laughs> we are having pears for a snack. Sophia is getting into the pear thing. She wasn't a big fan at the start, but now she loves them. Don't you, Sophia? She loves her keys. Especially when her teeth are hurting. Say thank you. Flowers that Selby got me yesterday. Isn't he sweet? We agreed to not buy each other any presents, but this one has been very naughty and got me this outfit and flowers and uh but we've got each other a card so i got husbando and i got wifey uh, here you go good luck opening that yeah i don't know <laughs> right so mine says mine looks like this how cute is that mine says to my wife on our anniversary you've got all Brilliant smile, brilliant body, and brilliant personality. And what else have you got? It says you've got it all. Brilliant body, brilliant oh. smile, brilliant personality. And uh, poo-poo husband. No, brilliant husband. With lots of love. And here's mine. It's backwards. In your universe. An anniversary poem for my husband, a.k.a. Mr. Wright. Huh, you can then call me that any time. You say my bum does not look big and tell me lovely stuff. You know that when I say I'm fine, it means I'm in a huff. It's true you are my Mr. Wright and really quite a catch. And since I'm Mrs. Always Right, we make the perfect match. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty, it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty accurate, honestly. Our anniversary dinner is done! So Selby's got spicy squid uh, stir fry. I've got steak, chips and onion rings. And Sophia's over there eating roast um, chicken and veggies. She couldn't wait anymore so she started way before we did. No, you don't do that. Put that down. Well, put it down. <laughs> Dinner's done. Now it's time to clean up and wash up. And then we will tell you guys a story. So our wedding was on 18th of May 2019 at 3.30 p.m. and I was heavily pregnant I was 37 weeks um, and in the morning of the wedding it rained really really bad so it made me panic the place that we got married at um, had a really really nice garden outside mm. so I was panicking I was running all over the place um, and then I forgot about the bridal car which was my brother's car that was fun because it wasn't <laughs> decorated or anything it didn't look like a, a bridal car 
So I told my brother that we need to hurry up and and sort it out in the rain. No one knew what we were doing. <laughs> we were outside putting ribbons on and me being heavily pre pregnant wasn't really much of a use to my brother but I still did it and little did I know that they were looking for me. Um. They come out, found me, told me off, told me to go shower. <laughs> it was quite a funny start of the day. Um, and then we got everything sorted, got the bridesmaids to the hall. Um, no, I was the last, no, I wasn't the last one there. But um, yeah, got to the hall, um, left a few bits at home, but I was... I didn't care. I just wanted to get done. Um, so we got there. The hall wasn't even ready. The groomsmen and the bridesmaids didn't know who they were paired with because Selby got there late. Because um, I had to go to the airport he to had pick to. my best man up. So in the morning I got up, went straight to the airport and picked him up. He was by his own admission a little bit hungover uh, maybe even a bit drunk still but yeah well, we got back got all ready and then obviously we were, we couldn't find bits and pieces and then we left and got there and couldn't find parking <laughs> at the venue because it was um it was full yeah it was just it was packed. a really busy day it was on a saturday <laughs> yeah completely busy it was in the center of, the ta of town so, uh, yeah, we, we had to park a million miles away and walk there and we were going, oh, God, it's starting soon. <laughs> we are kind of important. Our wedding started at 3.30 and that was 45 minutes long. But we still get to have an hour after that. So, you know, mm. we could have taken our time, basically. Yeah, didn't need to rush. So, yeah. When I got there, I wasn't expecting things to not be ready. But uh, the person that wed us told me to separate from everyone else. Luckily, Selby came with his best man. They took Selby in to get questioned. Um, it's a normal procedure, by the way. You made that sound like I'd done something wrong. No. <laughs> All right, no. Before you get married, you get these questions about yourself. Yeah. But thankfully, my best man was definitely the best man. In fact, the uh, guy that wed us said that that's the best, the, the, your best man is the best we've ever had because he just sorted everything out, which I should have done. And yeah. So yeah, he it was, it was a lifesaver, really. I won't yeah. name names, but you know who you are if you watch this. <laughs> Uh, that was all panicking, panic, panic, panic. That day, that whole day. Yeah. Um. I did feel like um. Some Braxton, Braxton Hicks. Yeah, like ghost contractions. Yeah, Braxton Hicks walking down the aisle. Uh, <laughs> so Sophia could have came out on the day, but she waited. Yeah. God. <laughs> yeah. Um so yeah, so the whole ceremony's done and then we went to the reception. We didn't have like um a sit down meal. Yeah, it's not it's literally just people go and sit down. We'll do whatever they want. By seven PM I was ready to go home. <laughs> but I decided to stay until like half nine. The bar wasn't um... licensed to have under 18, so we didn't know that. They would never told us that when we booked it. Um, we told them there'd be kids there, but yeah, it got to like half eight, and they come up to me and said, "Oh, by the way, um, there can't be any 18-year-olds here after nine o'clock." So it's like we went around to every family, going, "Yeah, can't have under 18s here." So thanks for coming. Which was a little bit galling. Half nine, we went back to our we went to our hotel. Yeah, we booked a hotel. And even though we lived in the same city. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. fun. It's, it's, you don't want to go home on your, your wedding night. 
Well, all we did was go to sleep. Yeah. And then go home the day after. <laughs> we parked in this place and it said until nine o'clock you've got free. Uh, well, not free, but paid till. Um, we got out there at quarter past nine to a uh, parking ticket. Yeah. So that was fun. I hope you liked our story. And hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for celebrating with us. Yay! And we will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye.